Hello guys and welcome back to our channel and today we are racing in GT3 in the Ringmeister series in iRacing and we have qualified P10, we didn't qualify, it was, we fucked up our qualifying lap and we are starting from P10 and we are one of the fastest drivers in this race so I was hoping that we could win this race but we have to do a lot of overtaking there or at least 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, we are the 5th car on the grid, we chose P10, I think okay, most of the cars are starting from pit lane and there is a Ferrari who is a blinking a lot which is very scary especially on a track like Lodge Life and the safety car is off and green light, here we go we just have to take it super easy on the first lap as you can see tires are cold and there is a blinking Ferrari right in front of us so we will take it pretty easy and let people overtake us if they are being super aggressive so that we can attack them later in the lap because I know I have the pace on them pretty clean start from everyone even the Ferrari who is blinking a lot let's, let's hope that it stays the same we just have to be very careful in the starting lap, our tyres are cold. You can see there is a red and white Ferrari who is looking eager to overtake us but he miss, misses up his run to the straight and you can see that McLaren has already overtaken that pinging Ferrari and we are not able to be super aggressive here because he is just pinging out of existence and yeah he is still right there and not confident so I'll have to back out of this corner super early so that he doesn't hit us he's just flying off <laughs> that guy seems pretty impressed with his move we will have a replay on that once we are settling in the race. As you can see, we are still with the train and we can see P1. So our hope is still to win this race. And that Ferrari blinks out of existence and hit the car behind him. And we make contact with the McLaren. I think we make contact, but I didn't feel any contact. And his race is spoiled. You can see that blue and white Ferrari making an overtake on white and red Ferrari, the Kinder Joy Ferrari and it was a pretty simple move lots of racing room given to each other, lots of respect and it was a pretty straightforward mood on the outside but he seems pretty impressed and now looking at the incident that took place right in front of us and we managed to avoid it I don't know what happened, let's see so that Ferrari brake checked him or something happened and he pinged out into the McLaren and I think we also made contact but I'm not sure let's look at the replay from another action he just spun out I guess we had no contact with him so we are up to P4 and not a win but at least a podium still looks in our contention and you can see that we are pretty fast on this section of the track but you can see there is a yellow Porsche right behind us and he it seems faster than us so we will have to keep an eye out on him and we will have to make an overtake on Ferrari in front of us so that we don't lose out to the position and we get a better run but the Porsche gets a superb run so I will just be in the slipstream of this Ferrari in front of us so that we can defend against that Porsche he is already alongside us but now with the slipstream we are trying to pull away and he was on the glass so he had to back out of it but now we are the one who is doing all the attacking so we will have to make a move on this Ferrari as soon as possible because top two are just pulling away and I don't want them to pull away a lot this will ruin our chances of winning this race and that Porsche will certainly attack us Holy moly. We have to be very patient though because 
if you mit, uh, miss a breaking point on the noise life uh, you are into barriers and that's race over for you i think that Porsche behind us is one of the fastest car on this track right now and he is again attacking us but there is no place to make an overtake here so we and he pops out his nose but there was no way that he was making a move and all the pressure of me driving that behind that ferrari he ends up in the barrier and sends porsche wide so we have some breathing room and we will try to catch up to this to these guys in front of us the pair of them and you can see we are catching up to them and we have caught up to this mercedes and porsche is right behind us and you can see there is a big straight coming up this is going to be intense we have to make a move and also defend our position but i don't know how it's going to happen that mercedes go dips his wheel into the grass and we have a run on him but i think that porsche had an amazing run you can just see him closing up to us in the mirror so I decided to give this Mercedes some slipstream so that he could defend against the Porsche then I thought he is way too close to us I decided to move to the extreme right so I am not giving anyone the slipstream but that Porsche is pulling pulling alongside us we are going into the final corners side by side this is going to be a big balls move either he backs out or I backs out I decide to back out because I am pretty okay with having a podium and he seems faster so let's not ruin our race and try to catch P1 and at least get P2 in this race. And the Porsche misses his braking marker, marker and he is into the grass and we will pull away. Let's look at the replay. You can see three cars going side by side. And the Porsche and my car had the momentum. But the end moment I decided to back out of it. And that time it seems pretty hard to give up a position, but it played in our favor and we were able to get that position back. And after spending most of the lap catching up to this car, we are finally caught up to him, but we are still far away to make a move on him. So this is the last lap. We are going to start the last lap, so we will have only two or three opportunities here to make an overtake on him. I am pretty confident that I will be able to make a move on him. So we are at least 2.5 seconds faster than him and you can see he is already wide. We will have the run, but we will not have the space to overtake him. We have to be very patient. This is our race to lose now. And let's hope for the best. This is going to be a first launch life race win if we are able to win it. But we have to make a pass on him. And it is easier said than done on launch life. And you can see he has a lot of damage on the left. And we will get a pretty amazing run on him. But we have to be very cautious while overtaking him because this will ruin both of our race. So I decide to not attack him and try to overtake him on this next straight and you can see he almost lost his car we are right on his bumper but there is no way that we are going to make a move because there is not a lot of space and you can see we have to lift two or three times just to avoid contact and we will not be able to make a move because we are far behind to make a move on the braking and you can see he is wide everywhere so I am pretty confident that this is our race to lose and I hope so that we are able to make a move on him ASAP and run away with this race and you can see my delta I am already one and a half seconds slower staying behind this car but we have to be very patient here because I think it will come the move will come I just have to be very patient and I'm always very confident in attacking the car in front of us rather than defending the position. Defending a position is another ball game and I most of the time I 
lose it and spun out. So attacking is the best thing I can do right now in this last lap. He is defending his position while going into the corner, which is making us slow. You can see we are right behind them, but there is no way to make an overtake here. I think our best chance is coming on the next big straight, and I think we will be able to make a move on him. We just have to hit all our breaking point and get a good run out of the corner that is coming up next. And you can see we had a slight moment, he also had a slight moment, not a great run, but there is another corner after this. We have to nail that corner just to make a pass on him. Fair and uh, clean and simple. We do get a good run, but he, ha he has a better run out of that corner. But we will have the slipstream. And let's try to catch up to him because I don't think so. We will be able to make a move on him on this trade. Now this is getting really frustrating guys sitting behind the solar cars. I know I can, I have the pace to overtake him, but this lap is so, this okay, track is so big that it, it is true test of your patience and concentration. You can see we have caught up to him, but there is no way we are going to overtake him or we can make a move on him and he is extra wide and I am pretty confident that I will be able to make a move. I am. We decide to make a move that we made in M4, uh, BMW M4, and we straight away lose up two seconds. No way. We are catching up to him again, and yeah, you can see we messed up our race win just by being too desperate to overtake him. Uh, this Hayden, was uh, our race. Nine. We should have done it. But oh, yeah, desperate moves, desperate times. So guys, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It was helpful a lot. Thank you.